Welcome back once again. The video tutorial of today is going to cover all around the way of blinking red without using high and low logic. It means all of this is for the purpose of memory space deduction. It means to reduce the capacity that your program will take on the memory. So without delay to jump on the program and see how it gonna work. First, we will declare the, the digital input-output pin on the Arduino through which our LED is going to be connected. And let us for our case use pin 12. And then close the program, close the line by a semicolon as usual. And then declare also another variable which is a delay time. And that delay time let us set it on. 500 millisecond. Of course, a good programmer have to save the space, and that the required variable is gonna be used as a delay time. And then, if we set up, we are gonna set the mode of our pin on which the LED is connected, and of course, the mode of our pin will be the output. So, pin mode, LED pin, then output. And then close the line with the semicolon. After finishing up configuring with this, let us try to make the way our LED gonna function. Here we make the LED pin and then connect it to high. Oh, there is many ways of writing logic high in programming. And for this case, we're gonna use 255 and we delay a delay time then we digital write lead pin and then we set it to zero of course in 8 bit if you take 2 to the power 8 gonna give us 255 and zero of course is logic zero when you set to the arduino 255 of course it understand that it is a logic high because it is to the power 8 and then when you set it to zero, the pin gonna be low, of course zero mark logic zero. And then we make a delay time, we compile the code and let us call it of course K2KIH. Uh, you, you may call the file the name you want. And then save. After finishing compiling, we're gonna upload the code to the Arduino. And you see that it is being compiled. After our program finished to compile, let us try to upload and see whether what we do is running well. Let us bring the Arduino board to our screen. You see that it is blinking because there is the first program we upload and to the next let us upload this new program. Bring back the Arduino. And you see that the when it is done uploading the transmitter receiving indicating red gonna bring there let's wait a bit you see that the our program is done downloaded to the Arduino and you see that the red is blinking as usual the same as the one who may use high and low. The only difference is that the memory space occupied by the program to the to the microcontroller will be lesser using that of zero and two hundred fifty. Guys, thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed the video. Leave a comment uh, in the comment section down below and give thumbs up if this video helps you. And don't forget to make subscribe to see the daily learning notification of our 
ultimate upload that will be uploaded on K2K YouTube channel and then we love you.